everybody. Welcome to Carol's Art Room. In today's video, I'm going to do I'm going to do a bloom, just a little bloom, and I'm testing out my pigments. So I'm going to use four um, this little piggy pigments and some black cell activator. I just want to see how it will work with just pigments and nothing else. Of course, the pillow paint, but just pigments as my colors. So uh, come and join me and let's see how it works. Okay, so I just poured some white paint down. Got it on my little spinner. So this is white house paint, which is, I use like a white satin house paint. I use beauty tone. Uh, actually, eggshell, not satin, eggshell house paint. I use beauty tone because I'm in Canada. But any eggshell or satin or velvet house paint is good, white. And today I just want to try pigments, just only pigments. And I'm just going to use four that I have from this little piggy pigments. That's a special brand. Um, I've mixed them all with my pouring medium, which is in the description under the video. I've, um, so I usually mix um, two pouring medium to one pigment. So I take one of my pouring medium, whatever you use, I use um, untinted house paint and varnish. So I take one scoop of the pouring medium, put it in my cup, add the same amount or as close to it of pigment, mix it up, that just gets it started, and then I add the next um, part pouring medium. So it's pretty pretty close to two to one. I don't measure exactly, but it's pretty much close to two to one. All right, so this is, um, this is a Pinot Gris color. I've never used just pigments before, so this is something different. The cell activator won't be a pigment, obviously, but it's going to be Amsterdam Oxide Black and Australian Floetrol. You can use regular Floetrol, but you have to really add a lot to it, so the ratio is more. I have some recipes in the description under my video. Okay, so that's the first one. Then I have Nightingale, which is a purple color. I'm just checking my consistency because I just mixed them. This one seems a little thick. I just maybe add a couple of drops of water. let it run off still seems a bit thick make a mound usually um with pigments, you can you would do one regular paint, tube paint, and then the pigment. Maybe alternate them or just have them in the same bloom. But today is different. This is Twinkle. These are the only four piggies I have. That's what I'm using. 
these white ones they call are called interference and they change color in different lights so this one I think is like a pinky purple color the pinot gris is more has more green in it I will put these colors in the description this one is called sequence and it's a pinky purpley color too I don't know I think I bought two almost the same I think this one has more purple and that one has more pink it's a bit thick black cell activator and I think I might use my mini blower uh, I'm debating I want to be careful not to do it too hard my CA cell activator it's called and it's Australian Floetrol and a oxide black Amsterdam the Amsterdam paints are the preferred paints for cell activator This is so awesome right here. I'm just gonna let it come back in the middle a bit. Let it, because there's an indent. So I'm gonna let it come back. I was gonna try and blow some more that way, but I've got two different colors in there. Can't, uh, dry really pretty I think doesn't look like much right now when they're wet but the shine will come out more when it's dry I don't think I'll blow it anymore I think I'll just let this come back If your CA is hard to blow then it might be a little bit too thick so you can always this is mixture is three to three and a half Australian Floetrol to one part paint and this was about three and a half I think this doesn't move in the middle, let's wait for a little bit longer.
just checking to see if the middle is moving. It's almost there, I think. All right, spin it again. dry and I'll show you the dried results at the end of this video and I think it's going to be really pretty so yes that's uh, all pigments work I have other pigments but they're they're a different brand so I can mix up some different colors together but uh, yeah I just wanted to see how all one brand and no other paints worked and it seems pretty good these are really pretty right here that's more um, muted um, lacing it's all in the blowing technique too it's not just your paints it's a whole bunch of things together for the bloom technique thanks for watching this video and come back to Carol's art room please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think in the comments below and I will put the colors and there is uh, paint recipes in my description under my video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Wait till I give you a close-up. Sorry. There. How's that? Pretty, eh? Can't wait to see what the interference colors dry like. Bye-bye.